US F-22 vs Russian Su-57 5th generation fighter combat over Syria. Stealth vs Stealth. US F-22 Raptor stealth fighter jets just completed their first combat surge in operations over Syria, and in doing so it backed down almost 600 enemy combat aircraft on a regular basis, the Pentagon said. Airmen assigned to the 94th Fighter Squadron completed the first ever F-22 Raptor combat surge over the last six months in skies above Syria, the Department of Defense announced on Wednesday, conducting an aggressive number of combat sorties over a single three-day period. The squadron faced both enemy fighters and surface-to-air missile systems as part of the U.S. response to the Syrian regimes. Things will only get dizzier in the coming months. Russia's Ministry of Defense recently announced its T 55th generation fighter jet that saw testing in Syria in February was on schedule to make a comeback tour. This comes just weeks after Russia announced the transfer of the S 300 missile defense system to the Syrian regime following the shoot down of Russian Ilushin Il 20 military aircraft over the Mediterranean. The Su-57 is a secret program. Surprises should be expected. Moscow has placed an order for an initial production run of 12 Su-57 stealth fighters. Those that it already has may be upgraded to combat standards, or remain as technology test beds. From the outset, the Su-57 was designed to be an F-22 killer. To achieve that goal it has been equipped to find its agile and fast opponent in the open skies by overcoming their expensive stealth properties. It has all the mod cons. Data linked and integrated sensors, electronic warfare components advanced composite construction materials. Likewise, the US F-22 was built to present a minimal radar reflection. This does not make it invisible. It just significantly reduces the distance at which any radar signal is strong enough to see it. So Moscow gave its Su-57 as many different kinds of eyes as possible. It has radar antennas of various bandwidths scattered about the aircraft. These can sense, and pinpoint, active radars from all directions and its powerful active electronically scanned array NO36 by ECHA radar. The Su-57 has a wide-ranging infrared search and track system looking for telltale traces in the skies, be it an engine's exhaust, or even the friction of a wing cutting through the air. The F-22 as yet has no such ability. It's generally expected that if the Su-57 and F-22 wander within 50 kilometers of each other, they will detect each other. This is yet to be seen. Exactly how stealthy the Su-57 is itself is a cause of much heated debate. Stealth profiles are closely guarded secrets. But the F-22 is believed to have a reflective area of just a fraction of a millimeter. Conversely, the Su-57's reflection is believed to be measured in centimeters. Any potential weakness in the stealth arena may help explain the Su-57's emphasis on long-range weaponry. That such big missiles can be carried internally, unlike with the F-35, is a bonus for the Russian jet's stealth ability. The F-22 can also carry big anti-air missiles inside and it appears to carry six of them over the Su-57 carry only four. In the Russians' favor is the K-77M's range, at more than 200 kilometers. The U.S. weapon, AIM-120D, can travel about 160 kilometers. While this means older aircraft such as US F-15 and Russian Su-35s can be blasted out of the sky without ever knowing there was another aircraft out there, it's a different matter when it comes to stealth versus stealth. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.